New tonight, plans scrapped. Potential neighbors spoke out against it, and now developers are calling off its proposal for a supportive housing in the Fall Creek neighborhood. The development would have been geared toward those experiencing homelessness. WRTV's Cornelius Hacker shows us why the need continues, even though this project will not. This is the last thing I thought that would, would go in across the street from my property. And as a mom of two young girls, if one of these goes in my backyard when there's already one down the street, I feel like I'm going to have to move because I'm worried about my safety. Concerns from two people who call Fall Creek Place home about the proposed Espero Indianapolis supportive housing development. Those same feelings echoed at a neighborhood meeting in May. Now, more than a month later, the Missouri-based Facino Group confirms they're not moving forward with plans for Espero Indianapolis, saying they wanted to house 40 unhoused people in Indianapolis, but cannot overcome the obstacles at this particular site. Andy Beck is a local housing advocate, and I asked him this. Is there always this pushback, this not in my backyard, this we want them to have a place to live, but not right there? Is, is that a common theme? Typically, um, more privileged, wealthier communities um, do have pushback. And he says a lot of it is based on fear, which he believes can be overcome with clear information about proposed projects. It's right now, he says the number of those who are facing homelessness in Marion County is increasing weekly. My uh, day job is um, working with uh, people getting evicted um, at, at our uh, nine township uh, eviction courts. Um, so we're evicting uh, as a city or hundreds of people every week. Latest numbers available show there are almost 2,000 people in Marion County experiencing homelessness. Advocates believe the real number is much higher. And he hopes the next time there's a plan for supportive housing in Indianapolis, it doesn't face pushback because housing the homeless, he says, helps the community overall. Studies shown that um, it helps with uh, workforce efficiency. People are able to hold and maintain um, their jobs better if they're not having to find that next apartment, find that next apartment, be homeless, et cetera, et cetera. Cornelius Hawker, WRTV. We did ask the Vecino group if they'll be looking for another location for supportive housing here in Indianapolis, and we have not yet heard back.